Hello and welcome back to the Pithy Bikes channel where you can watch a beginner mess up machined parts. So somehow the tool cut deeper near the end and uh, I had a pretty good hunch that it had something to do with the way I clamped it down. But it also had something to do with the aluminum stock not being flat. If you look closely you can uh, see the gap at the center. So I modeled uh, this example so you can see what kind of shenanigans went down. So I clamped the part in there and of course the part was uh, curved, it was not flat and when I clamped it down it flattened it. And then I did my machining passes but then I had to move the clamps and the part uh, curved back up because of course when you move the clamps you gotta reclamp it and you can't always ensure that you've clamped it down the same way. And so that's how I ended up with a deeper cut, cut near the end. So uh, I had to cut a new piece and I left room for uh, the clamps to clamp down on it. And I clamped it down so that the curved uh, surface is face down. Okay, so I'm getting the surface good and flat and making sure that I'm not moving the clamps or anything like that all in this uh, one operation. And so after that was done, I went in and I cut the ends off because I don't need them anymore. I flipped it on the uh, flat surface face down and I am doing the other side now. So uh, because the other side, uh, the side that is facing down, is totally flat, I am able to now move the clamps and not run into that problem. So uh, you'll notice that I put the uh, vise back on the table and I didn't realize that I would need to then take the vise off the table again so that I could square up the other side, the other two ends. And uh, here I am with the test indicator uh, making sure that the, the piece is perfectly uh, vertical on the table. And so I nudged it around and now it is vertical. 
and now I'm squaring up the ends. So amazingly this thing took all day long and it's because uh, my mill is a mini mill and this piece was like the largest uh, thing I've tried to machine on this mill. So I was really pushing the, the, uh, the Y travel axis to its limits. But here's the piece and it was kind of a pain but not impossible. So that's it for this week, and uh, I'll see you guys next week.